Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of quadratic domain and range. This is standard A.6A in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 32 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a quadratic function, and so that tells us we're going to have some type of uh, parabola here. So quadratic means we're going to have a parabola either facing up, we might have a parabola kind of facing down, and we're looking for the range. All right? So the range, right, that's kind of representative of the range, that is going to be your dependent variable values. Right? So typically we think of them as our y values, in this case we're thinking of it as our g of x. A lot of times they don't ask us about the domain, because the domain is the x, and for most of your parabolas, right, it's going to be infinity. You know, your domain is going to be between negative infinity and infinity, right? So it's uh, really not that difficult for most of your domains. It's the range, right, that's going to hit this vertex and be all the numbers below if it's a downward facing, or this vertex and all the numbers above if it's an upward facing. So what do we know about these? Well, we've got a lot of, you know, mixed numbers or improper fractions there. Let's, let's change these real quick into some decimals. I think that's going to help us. Okay, so let's just make decimals. So I'm going to put 0 0.5 and then that's going to be 1.75. All right, so that's my y. I'll call that my y. 1 and 4. Right, I've got 1.5 and then 19 fourths. Right, that's going to be almost 5. That's going to be 4.75. What else do we have? We've got 2 and 4. Uh, 5 halves, that's going to be 2.5. And then that's going to be that 7 fourths again, right? That's going to be 1.75. Well, then watch, it drops down to negative 2 and 3. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a parabola that kind of goes up, 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 up. Hits a high point right there, goes down, 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 and then really drops right there. That's what it kind of looks like. So I'm thinking on my range, I'm thinking that is going to be that 4.75. Looks like it's a downward facing. It's going to be... 4.75 seems like it's going to be uh, my maximum y value, right? That might be my maximum range. But how can we, you know, verify this? Well, let's open up our uh, calculator here, and let's just go ahead and just plug some of these numbers in, okay? Uh, we can go ahead and do that. And let's see if we can open this up a little bit more, give us some of our points back. There we go. All right, so let's bring this over here so we can at least see it. All right, so we are going to hit uh, our stat right there. We're going to edit our L1 and L2, and let's just put in our x values. 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5. I've got 2, then I've got my 2.5, and then I've got my 3, okay? Now let's go to our L2. This is where the decimal is going to be handy. 1.75, 4, 4.75, 4.75, 4, that 1.75 again, and then down to my negative 2. Okay, so that's my list. Okay, so what I want to do here now is I want to hit that second, then I want to hit the y equals to get that stat plot. Okay, so I want to hit enter to get that plot, and it's going to be on, and that's fine. You know what? Let's go ahead and make sure it's on. And let's go ahead and hit that line graph right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit zoom. Then we're going to hit number 9. We're going to get that zoom stat. And that is going to get us what we basically drew. And if I want to trace this, we can see that we did pretty good. It looks like our max is going to be that 4.75. It's a, it's a downward-facing parabola. And so that 4.75 uh, really was going to be that 19 fourths. So all real numbers less than or equal to 19 fourths answers B.